and welcome to Monza for the penultimate round of the International GT Open. The championship fight couldn't be tighter. It's the Imperial Air Racing Lamborghini driver Giovanni Ventrini who leads the standings as we head into the home race. But with the top five cars separated by just a handful of points, there's everything to race for. So let's have a look at the very best of the action. As the field got away at the start of the race, it was Craig Dolby who was just able to get the jump on pole sitter Rob Bell as the pack charged towards the Retifilio for the first time. 24 cars charging side by side. It was always going to be very busy. And as a result, there was the fairly inevitable sort out. Vito Postiglioni coming off worse with damage to the front of the Lamborghini. As you can see from Thomas Biaggi's perspective, everybody just about made it through cleanly, be it just about. When the race settled down, we were treated to a wonderful four-way scrap at the front of the pack with Craig Dolby leading the way from Marco Mapelli to Bouveng and Rob Bell. Behind there was also some great tussling to enjoy as Tom Onslow Cole was trying to carve his way up through the pack. Mapelli was eventually overhaul, able to overhaul Dolby as we approached mid-race, but by the time the pit stops and success seconds had sorted themselves out, Sean Bell, who emerged in the lead, he was quickly passed by Seb Morris. Morris then said about trying to build a bit of a buffer. Meanwhile, disappointed for Dominic Farnbacker, contact with Mauro Calamir, pitching the Lexus into retirement. Despite the late challenge from Giovanni Ventrini, it was Morris and Dolby who came through to claim the victory. Ventrini, though, extends his championship lead. Second place finish alongside Marco Mapelli, with Sean Bell and Rob Bell finishing in third and claiming Pro-Am honours with Louis Silva and Antonio Coimbra winning the Am class. But jubilation, Nigel Mustel's team and two very happy drivers. We worked so hard um, just to be on track, so just to be here is an absolute honour and uh, massive thank you for Nigel Mustel for um, bringing the car and letting me drive it and letting Seb drive it. And uh, yeah, this weekend we've always been competitive and we've said that if we've got a top five, there's a chance of a podium. If there's a chance of a podium, then there's a chance of a race win. So we just kept it safe. Bit of a hit at the start, but we kept it on the island. And uh, yeah, Seb did a fantastic job on the second stint as well. So awesome. Yeah, wonderful job with a nice ball also. And Seb, your first race in the GT Open and uh, already a win. Yeah, I didn't quite expect it, but uh, it's gone very well, isn't it? Um, thank you to Nigel and the team. All the boys have been really professional, really great. The car was an absolute joy to drive, to be honest. One of the nicest cars I've driven in a race stint, to, to be fair. So uh, I enjoyed every minute of it, and I was just trying to hold off the uh, slightly newer Lambo behind me. From the lights, it was Augusto Farfus who jumped into the lead as Con Medegar drew alongside him as the field raced towards the Retifilio for the first time looking to gain ground off the line it was Fran Rueda who was able to sneak ahead of Mikel Mack as they turned through the opening complex. While behind Eduardo Liberati went pounding straight on. Unfortunately Liberati's race was to be short-lived. Martin Conrad got squeezed off the road. He then tagged Andrea Fontana who in turn cannoned in to Eduardo Liberati. It was all very congested in midfield. Unfortunate instant. Drivers okay. Cars rather less so front of the field we had a leading quartet comprising Farfus out front from Leathergarp it's beginning to stretch the field there's more problems for Marcio Basso as the race unfolded post pit stops it was Lorenzo Bear out of who emerged in the lead ahead of Alex West a bit to moving as Marcello Hard made a superb move on Fu Song Yang but it was Lorenzo Bear out of and Augusto Farfus who took the wing ahead of Victor Bouve and Fran Rueda, a Teo Marti Motorsport 1-2 with Miguel Ramos and Mikel Mack completing the podium. Alex West and Conrad Gar winning the Pro-Am class. Antonio Coimbra and Luis Silva once more the Am class winners. Don't make your bite, don't make your Celebration time, therefore, for Teo Marti Motorsport. Yesterday we didn't have uh, much luck, so today I think we, we did a good job. Uh, I think we deserved the win, so I'm very happy for this, very happy for the second win. Hope, hopefully in Barcelona we can do the same. Augusto, and you 
is the first win in the GTO. Yes, I mean, uh, my first appearance, we didn't have enough luck to bring it home. Today, everything went very smooth. Lorenzo did an amazing job to bring the car home, so extremely happy for him and for Theo Martin. Well done, guys, and it's 1-2 uh, for Theo Martin, so it's perfect. Especially when he, he's not here. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, uh, we couldn't ask for more. Uh, the team did a great job, um, especially in the pit stops, and uh, the car was amazing today. Uh, so very happy for, for all of us, and um, very happy with the team and the job we did.